Welcome, everyone, to the Daily Slab for Thursday, December 29th, 2022. I'm Nate, and I'm here with the top five most surprising sales, according to me, of the 2022 year. If you like this video, please click the like and the subscribe button. Helps us get this video out to more card collectors like yourselves. Before I get into this video, if you want to win a Topps Merlin box, which is right here in my hands, and a Topps backpack, I'm sure, plus some other goodies, please subscribe to this or to this channel, Slab Stocks, like the video, and comment your top most surprising sales of the year in the comments below. Uh, we are doing this, running this through each day, so you get five chances to enter Monday through Friday with a different comment each day for whatever subject we're covering. And if you do that, by the end of the week, you have five entries to win a Topps Merlin box from 2022 Topps Merlin Soccer and a Topps backpack. And I'm sure there will be some other goodies along the way. So if you are interested in that, like the video, subscribe, and comment on the video. All right, let's cover our top, my, my top five sales of the year. And without further ado, let's jump right into number five here. And number five is the 2021 Bowman Chrome Draft Super Fractor Auto of Marcelo Meyer PSA 9. So Marcelo Meyer was the fourth pick in the draft by the Red Sox, and he was projected to go as high as number one. The MLB draft is not the same as the NBA or the NFL. Um... Sometimes the best player in the draft drops significantly and some other because of dollar spots that people can pay and everything. And I'm not going to get into it. It's a bit more complicated than the time we have here. But the best player doesn't always go number one. So Marcelo Meyer in his draft could have been the best player in his draft, but he goes number four. That being said, best player or not, $132,000 for his Super Refractor Auto feels insane to me. We're talking about a high school shortstop who has yet to play in the minor leagues by the time this card was paid for. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, I'm a big baseball guy myself. I love baseball. I think Marcelo Meyer is going to be great. And yet, $132,000 on this card is insane. It's like everyone's looking for the next Juan Soto that they're paying more and more and more and more and getting more risky. We covered it in the top five yesterday with the Spencer Torkelson sale. And that's how that's why that Spencer Torkelson sale is so crazy is Marcelo Meyer, shortstop, top draft pick. A lot, you know, Torkelson was number one pick. Marcelo Meyer could have been. He was four. He's a hometown kid going to the Red Sox. And he was his his. Super Fractor is only $20,000 more than Torx Red. Like, that's crazy to me. The Bowman Chrome prices are insane to me. And uh, that is why Marcelo Meyer was the, fit, the fifth most surprising sale of the year. Number four on the list is this Shea Gilgis Alexander 2018 Prism Rookie Auto BGS 9. So this sold for $30,000 on December 17th, which is a healthy price, especially compared to the Marcelo Meyer that we just saw. I'd rather have this Shea all day long, but $30,000. And the reason this is surprising to me is because I felt like it was low, low, low price. So you could have gotten this card, this Prism Black 101, and this Optic uh, 101 PSA Authentic Black that you see here from 2018 for 9600 Combined, it would have cost you $39,600, which is a lot of money, yes, but still surprising because back in November 17th, you could have bought a Prism Black Gold out of five VGS 95 for $36,000, otherwise known as $3,600 less than you could have gotten the Optic Black 101 and the Prism Auto 101 together a month later. And so for me, I get it. PSA Authentic, maybe, you know, Something weird going on there. And also, people don't love um, the autos compared to the non-auto for Prism. I get that, too. I get that, too. But we're talking out of five compared to two one ones only $3,600 more. That seems crazy to me. So the Prism Black one one auto for Shea Gilgis Alexander, that is my number four spot for most surprising sales because I thought it was too low. Number three on the list is this 2020 Prism Black Finite 
uh, rookie 101 BGS 8.5 of Justin Fields. That sold for $90,000 on November 17th on the PWCC Premier Auction. If $90,000 for a Justin Fields card seems absurd, you're not alone because I also think it's absurd. And so I brought up some cards that you could have bought for similar prices within the past uh, couple of months. Trevor Lawrence, Prism Black Finite 101 PSA 8 sold for $73,000. You could have had this Trevor Lawrence Prism Black 101 Auto and $17,000 for the price of the Justin Fields. I know which one I'm taking. So if you wanted the QBs, right? If you just want young prospects, you could have had the pre Prism Premium Black Shimmer, not the straight black 101, but the Black Shimmer 101 BGS 9.5 for $72,000 10 days later on golden auctions on november 27th so ninety thousand or seventy two thousand for the zion black shimmer again i know which one i'm taking and lastly the most absurd one to me by a long shot is on september 10th which was a month and a week before this uh justin field sold you could add a 2013 prism black 101 kobe bryant auto psa 10 a kobe bryant prism black 101 auto for seven thousand more dollars than the Justin Fields sold for, wrap that around your head. I know it's 2013, but we're talking 101, early second year Prism Black Auto Kobe Bryant sticker auto, sure, but Kobe Bryant Black 101 Auto for seven thousand more dollars than the Justin Fields. I feel as though I would have taken any of these cards, the Kobe for seven thousand more, the Zion for. 18,000 less or the Trevor Lawrence for 17,000 less than I would have taken the Justin Fields. And yes, I am a Packer fan and I do like Justin Fields. I think he's talented, but I also think that there was money better spent around the time period where this money was spent than on that Justin Fields. So for that reason, Justin Fields is the number three most surprising sale of the year. The second most surprising sale of the year, because I think it was low, was the Prism Black Finite 101 Mahomes Auto BGS 9.5 from 2017 Prism. And this sold for $288,000 on November 17th as well. And yes, that is expensive. But I thought that maybe that was a little bit low. And the reason for that is look at these other cards. Julio Rodriguez, Bowman Chrome Red Auto, BGS 9.5, sold August 6th for $276,000. Yes, Julio was, you know, the Rookie of the Year this year, yada, yada, yada. But we're talking about Rookie of the Year in baseball and not like a top 10 guy in baseball compared to Patrick Mahomes, who's probably a top one player in football, won an MVP, won a Super Bowl, isn't old, has many years ahead of him, and you could have gotten the Mahomes for only $12,000 more than the Julio Auto out of five when this Mahomes Auto is out of one. I know it's not the same sport and everything like that, and Bowman Chrome is king for baseball, but still, within two months of these sales, you know, within two months of this sale, you could have bought something for $12,000 less that I consider a significantly, significantly worse card, and I'm a baseball guy. Uh, so that was crazy to me. You also have about a month earlier, the Shoei Otani 2018 Bowman Chrome Red Auto out of five PSA nine that sold for $276,000. Again, Otani may be a little bit closer in my mind to the talent level of Mahomes than Julio is. So, and he has all of Japan behind him. But yet again, one of those things where I do think that if this is going for $276,000. The Mahomes should be $12,000 more. I could be wrong. I mean, these are, I would consider them similar, similar talent levels. Like Otani's probably the best player in MLB. Regardless of what Aaron Judge did this year, regardless of what anybody does any year, Otani's probably the best player in the MLB year in, year out, if he's proven anything the last two years. Mahomes is the best player in football. A little bit younger, has won an MVP championship yada 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 so these are reasonable but this isn't a super factor this is a out of five and so again i would rather have the mahomes for twelve thousand more dollars and then the most ridiculous one 2018 and this was back in march so it wasn't close to the to the sale price and obviously the market has changed drastically since then 
So take this with a grain of salt, but I thought it was interesting anyways. For $276,000 also, $12,000 less than the Mahomes, you could get the Trey Young Black 101 Auto BGS 9.5 back in March. I mean, if Trey Young is worth $276,000, and I just saw a rumor that he might ask for a trade and there might not be that many teams that want him because he can't play defense and he's not a very good off-ball guy and all sorts of things. If there's only a $12,000 difference between these two cards, and I know it's not really a $12,000 difference because it's sold in March, it's just crazy to me that at one point this card sold for $12,000 less than what the Mahomes did. And Mahomes, compared to Trey Young, whole different ballpark in of talent player compared to their respective sports. So ridiculous to me that the Mahomes only sold for 288,000 thought it would be more. And for that reason, it is my number two card of the year. Number one on the list is this 2022 tops plat tops series one rookie platinum one one of Wander Franco PSA nine that sold for $44,000 on July 16th. Yes, that's a lot of money for a paper base, one of one. But considering what the market was, I thought this was going to go for way more. And especially considering back April 30th, so June, July, not even two months later, two and, or one and a half months later, his first edition, Platinum 101 PSA 8. So worst grade, worst card. First edition is worse than the top Series 1. Sells for $78,000, $34,000 more dollars than the one of one platinum sold for. I thought that this was a $100,000 card at least. I was, I was pretty sure I was convinced of it, if not way more. And then it sold for way less than the, the first edition platinum did, PSA 8 compared to a PSA 9. So I was flabbergasted by this. If I had had $44,000 guaranteed, I would have bought this, you know, if, I don't. I don't. But if I did, this would have been a guaranteed buy. Wander is amazing. He was amazing the first month. He was amazing the last month. He was injured in between. I'm expecting a huge bounce back from him. So for that reason, Wander Franco and his Topps Platinum 101 selling for $44,000 is my number one biggest surprise sale of the year. All right, we made it through our top five surprise sales of the year. Thank you, everyone, for watching this on this Thursday, and I will talk to you on Friday for the next top five. See you, everyone.